I am your host Lokender Kumar and today I am going to discuss an update on PLOS ONE website regarding the matrix of your research article. On your computer screen what you are seeing is one of my research article that was published in PLOS ONE in uh, 2014 and right now I am seeing the analytics of my research article. I can see how many views I have, I can see how many downloads I have, I can also see uh, what is the percentage uh, downloads of my research article and uh, you can see 31.95% of the research article views led to the PDF downloads that is a valuable information and then you have a chart which shows you uh, how many views and how many downloads you have uh, on monthly basis and if you click on you don't have to click you just drag your cursor and you will see the information uh, on the uh, uh, particular research article and what are the downloads and what are the views for your particular research article it also shows you the total view which is pretty cool and I can see it's increasing which is great and another thing in this case you can also see that uh, how many uh, XML downloads are there, how many PDF downloads are there and uh, you can see in this tab you can see citation which is uh, the most important part of the research article. I think uh, I think PLOS ONE has introduced a very good feature that provides you the analytics of your research article. Uh, if I go to the second research article that I published in PLOS ONE in uh, 2019, January 11, 2019, I can see I have uh, one point around 2,000 views for that research article and people have downloaded my research article uh, where I have 40.30% article views led to the PDF download. And this one, you can see they have distributed the downloads and views according to the PLOS website as well as PMC which is PubMed Central website uh, views so that is that is a cool feature that they have introduced and I have I already have four citation for this research article which is great and uh, if I see my next research article which was published in 2019 and where I have 2.6 thousand views on that particular research article and I can see 61.05 uh, of the article views led to the PDF download which is great and I can uh, I can see how the growth of the research article is happening. So these are uh, really important analytics when you are trying to find out the research area, uh, find out the analytics of research area, visibility of the research area that you are doing. I think PLOSMAN has introduced a, a very good feature in this journal and if you have any article published in PLOSMAN I would recommend you to check uh, your analytics and try to analyze the uh, visibility of your research article. Alright, that was all from my side. Uh, that was the update regarding the metrics of the research article in PLOS ONE. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please press the like button. And if you like the content of the channel, then subscribe to the channel so that you can get immediate updates on my videos. Thank you. Take care.